Good morning, YouTube. How's everybody doing today? It's your boy, YB. Like I said, I know my vlogging days ain't been as consistent, but you know, today I'm here to announce my hibernation is officially over. I know I said that in a short, but I'm saying it on the vlog because sometimes y'all don't see my vids and my shorts, but today I'm bringing it to the light. Hibernation is officially over. And with that being said, Today's video is a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for the longest. And I feel like the culinary industry as a whole is watered down. And what better time to speak on this in 2024 than now? Because when I moved to Atlanta 10 years ago, I was just a young guy wanting to be a chef and I was about to enroll in culinary school. And now 10 years later, I'm gonna talk about all I've seen and just my experience and you know, what better time and now, cause it seemed like in 2024, everybody just so direct and aggressive and I'm not gonna be aggressive, but I'm gonna be direct, you know, like that's that's what Young Bart TV is. Like I keeps it real, but y'all know what time it is. Like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with all your peers. And of course, ring that bell. <laughs> First, let me just say this, you know, I wouldn't be where I am in life if it wasn't for the culinary industry. Like, I would have never committed to going all out the way to move into Atlanta to go to culinary school, the Cordon Bleu Atlanta, I'm sorry, the Cordon Bleu College of Culinary Arts Atlanta. I'm going to give y'all, y'all credits, shouts out to that. Best culinary school in the nation, like, it really is. But pretty much, I put my whole life into being a chef and... I can honestly say it has paid off, but I'm not going to sit here and not acknowledge the fact that there's a lot of artificialness and there's a lot of fake stuff going on. And it's interesting to talk about this in 2024 because what is popular now in 2024? AI. And that is artificial intelligence. And pretty much we're eating artificial foods, whether y'all know it or not. But, you know, what I just want to teach y'all, y'all, is like... Stand up for what you believe in in this world, but also understand that, you know, there's always something better out there. Because for a long time, I was stuck at this one company thinking that this was all I was going to do for. And then, just out of nowhere, I get this amazing job and change my life for the better. Since I've gotten this amazing job as a social again, I've been in two magazines. I've got my own place. Like, I mean, this, this was like a full circle moment for me and for it all to happen on my team. I will say that my new job has taught me is, you know, 
it's okay to be creative because when you're creative, you never know who likes what you're doing. Your worst work can be someone's best plate that day. I'll give you a good example. There was one day we did like the barbecue pizza thing. I thought that jump was gonna be an epic failure. That jump was an epic pass because those girls destroyed the pizza. But see, I was thinking, this isn't my best work and they don't want this at all. They love it. And we also, you know, at my job, we have a new main every other week. So, excuse me, every week. So, you know, that gives me an opportunity to come up with something in two days because I'm off on the weekend. So now I got two days to figure out a game plan for a five day menu. And I love it. Like, this has been the coolest chef job on the day. We got a lot of seasons. So much stuff to change. Understand, I came back as a sous chef in the, little, in the middle of October, and now here we are, the first day of May, and my job is done. I can't believe it. You know, I don't know what this summer is gonna bring, but definitely you'll see more of Young Bar TV. So now I can talk how I really want to talk, y'all. So first things first, let me just say this. I love being a chef. I love what I do. And I love the food industry. But as a whole, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm happy in this industry when I'm really not. Because around this time two years ago, I made a video about verbal abuse and how it made me want to walk away from this food industry and temporarily I did but I learned my lesson real quick because I was ready to be an actor and then 
I didn't realize there was a lot of money, time, and effort you had to put into that. It's not something that you could just pick up and put down when you want to, because I was thinking just because I was in some visuals the previous year that in 2022, they was gonna come out. No, nah, man, sometimes that stuff take years. And I'm saying this because my very first movie that I shot in 2021, I seen just this year and I had almost forgot about it. So that lets me know that the entertainment industry is where I need to be. But the reason why I decided to do this video today is because like I said, it's been 10 years since I started culinary school, since I've been on my own. And I've seen a lot in this food industry since then. I've seen the pandemic make people lazier. I've seen people not want to bring the right quality, no longer season their food. And most of all, you know, I feel like we've all ordered some from DoorDash or one of these food delivery services and we've been catfished. Like this stuff don't look like what it really is. So that's part of why I call this video what it's called, the culinary industry is watered down now. So let me take y'all back to 2014. When I was in culinary school, I went to Le Cordon Bleu, Atlanta College of Culinary Arts. And this was all a lot for me. I had never tried onion rings before. I had never seen a sanitized bucket. And on top of that, like, it was just a lot going on at once. So I went from not knowing what a sanitized bucket was in 2014 to being told in 2024 that I don't need to set up a three compartment sink. And in case y'all don't know, the three compartment sink is rinse, wash, sanitize. You know, you're supposed to set that up the second you get into the job. You know, health inspectors look at that. It's, it's very important. Now, the reason why I'm making this example is because this is perfect point I'm trying to make. Like, this industry is so watered down to the point where nobody cares about the rules and regulations. Everyone's just trying to get by. And I know in the past I've done some exposing on certain chefs and the way they've treated me, but what I want to expose today is just this industry as a whole. Nobody cares about what's right anymore. Everyone just wants to get by and get the job done. They'll give a sous chef quote to a guy that's been around for five years, but they won't give it to the guy that's actually put in the work. That guy that came in two weeks ago that's showing you he's ready and he can communicate has already shown you a better chef than this guy that's been here for five years. The only reason you gave it to that that guy five years because you know that's all he knows all he knows is this company because this is all he's used to you guys are going to always give him a chance it's like this industry will give a white coat to anybody and i hate that so what i want to touch on is there's something that i've noticed in this industry and that is that nobody really stuck with it the way i did whether it was my friends i went to culinary school with whether it was my friends i met after culinary school while on my externship or even the ones that became a sous chef like me they've all kind of disappeared from this industry nobody really wants to be in the culinary industry no more so why is that well i'll tell you why because either they didn't give them something they wanted or they just grew tired of it well let me tell y'all something i think it's my turn to finally leave this industry the reason why i think it's my turn to leave the industry i mean it's time I read the room. My acting career is blowing up. My beat tapes are taking off. I mean, I haven't been able to vlog as much on my YouTube channel, which is monetized because I've been working so much. And yesterday was my last day of work. So if, if this isn't God's calling, I mean, I don't know what it is, but I don't necessarily think there's a reason for me to continue to work for a restaurant company, wherever and be Chef Corn. It's time for Chef Corn to be Chef Corn for himself. You know, every time I work for a company, they always do something that I either don't agree with or, you know, they show me why that person left. And I don't want to do that anymore. It is 2024. I'm getting older now and my acting career is blowing up. My music is taking off and I've been neglecting my YouTube channel because I've been so focused chasing after a chef coat. I've already done this. I've been in two magazines, my YouTube channel's blowing up, my acting career is starting to take off. So really, why do I need to surround myself in this industry anymore? I'm not saying this is the last time y'all will see me wear a chef coat in front of the camera, but in all honesty, I just don't feel it's necessary anymore. I've done everything I said I was gonna do. I traveled the world, I got to be in 
two magazines, three technically, but one of them was for making beats, but still I had to touch on what I do for a living. So technically three magazines and you know, I got my own place now, like life is going good for you, boy. I have no reason to continue to chase after this passion. I mean, all my friends left me, like my friends are now skateboarders, they're fathers, they're entrepreneurs. I mean, some of them even just didn't even get this industry a chance. They got their chef's degree certificate and just said, you know what, I'm done. I've done something with my life. I got my name on a piece of paper. I don't have nothing else to prove in this world. And I'm not necessarily following after you guys, but it's time I follow my own path because this is all I've known. Like, I want to know how it feels to make money not cooking. Yeah, my YouTube channel's monetized. I mean, I get those checks, but I want bigger YouTube checks. You know, I want to finally see the games that YouTubers play, you know, posting three and four times out the week. Like, I want to be a YouTuber now. I mean, I am a YouTuber, but you see what I'm saying? Like, being a chef has taken up so much of my time. I haven't even had time to be here for the world. So, with that being said, I don't think I want to be in the culinary industry anymore. And I've been showing signs of this for the longest. I remember before I got my job, I was so frustrated with my job that I had at the time that I had made a Facebook post. I remember saying the culinary industry really isn't the same anymore. And basically everyone was kind of on my side. And some of the comments that people were saying really stood out to me. I remember one particular, a friend of mine that I worked with telling me, you know, bro, don't even worry about it. Soon you'll be in Hollywood and you know, you don't need this anymore. Something of that nature. And I remember telling them, thanks, I appreciate that, bro. But really, like, at the time, we were on a Hollywood strike. So my skills were really put to the test during the summer because that's when it was hard for me to find work. I mean, thank God I got the amazing job I did get for the time being. But now that it's done for this year, it's like, what's next? You know, I tell you what's next. It's time that I finally live. It's time that I take a leap of faith like I did 10 years ago when I moved to Atlanta to become a sous chef. I mean, excuse me, to become a chef when I wanted to go to culinary school. And now that I have all that under my belt, it's time that I finally do that again. This time, I'm more experienced. So to anybody out there that's watching, I mean, I hope you get some out of this video, whether, you know, you want to take a break from being a chef or, you know, you want to walk away from the industry or maybe, you know, you want to change career paths. I mean, I hope what Young Bar TV teaches you is that, you know, manifestation is real, but also don't be afraid to chase after your dreams because sometimes your dreams could be right there in your face and you don't realize it. I mean, literally everything that I've gotten the past six months, I've manifested at one point. I got to be on TV. I was on Wild and Out and Miss Pat settles it. I got to be in two Tubi movies. I got to be in two magazines, three. You know, my beat tapes are doing numbers. So out of all that stuff I just mentioned, where in the world did Chef did get mentioned? It didn't get mentioned because I've already done my mark. I've already done the job. I've given this food industry 10 plus years of my life, really longer than that, because when I was in high school, I took culinary classes to get to where I'm at. And I even talked about that in the magazine. So I know they say that, you know, God knows where you'll be 10 years from now. And I think God is showing me what my next journey is and what my next steps I need to take. So definitely guys, I think my days of being a chef are finally over. And once a chef, I always a chef, but don't expect me to work for anybody's kitchen anytime soon because I think I'm ready to finally hang up my apron and do my own thing. And it's time and I definitely feel like, it, it's just definitely time, you guys. So that's all I have for today's video. Um, I hope I don't offend nobody. I mean, I hope you guys take me seriously, but the culinary industry is watered down now and it's time we fix it. You know, what is the what is the point of being associated with an industry where I know I'm not happy because I got bills to pay because I need to survive? Well, I'm a survivor. I know right now what I'm doing is, this is survival mode. I'm about to officially go in survival mode. I'm gonna put all my skills to the test to make a living, but to any chefs out there that mentored me, that worked with me, that put me on, you know, that gave me a chance, I thank you and I appreciate you, but 
I just think it's time that Chef Corn finally lives a little and finally hang my coat up once and for all. So that's all for today's video, y'all. Um, I promise I'm gonna step my consistency up, but just remember, like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with all your peers, and of course, ring that bell. Young Bart TV, we're coming for 5,000 subscribers in 2024. Believe that. What, 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 beep, beep.